I am very proud and thankful that my colleagues have approved a resolution that I introduced this week designating Friday as World Elder Abuse Awareness Day. I introduced it with my friend from Illinois, a Republican, Mark Kirk. So it is truly bipartisan and it was approved overwhelmingly to raise awareness about the scourge, the spreading epidemic of elder abuse in this country. We know it is spreading because it has increased in the last 10 years alone by 150 percent. Some 14 percent of all seniors are victims of abuse and neglect every year. And this kind of issue is underreported and largely unknown, which is the reason why a resolution calling attention to it is so important. Only one in every 44 cases of financial abuse is actually reported. Only one in 23 of physical and other kinds of abuses is reported. And the reason is, tragically, that so many seniors suffer in silence out of fear or embarrassment or even shame that they are victims. We must fight this spreading epidemic through stronger partnerships and more vigorous action. As Attorney General of the State of Connecticut, I sought to raise awareness and go after the con artists and the scammers who exploit our seniors, as well as relatives who all too often can take advantage of them. And now, as United States Senator, I am committed to seek even stronger penalties, more vigorous enforcement, and other measures that will enable us to better protect a generation that has worked hard and deserves better than the abuse they now receive from relatives or caregivers who have a position of trust and responsibility or strangers who may prey upon them in times of their most vulnerable need. And so I thank my colleagues. I urge you to become involved in the fight against elder abuse and form partnerships with local and state and federal officials, but also with organizations that are committed to join this fight and will work with all of us in a strong alliance to make sure that our seniors are protected. Thank you.